If you could take my pulse right now, it would feel just like a stage hammer. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. We're gonna start by making our own tumbler stickers. So you'll need sticker paper and scissors. First thing you'll wanna do is go to Google and type in tumbler overlays. That's how you can get really pretty pictures from Tumblr in bright colors and just fun little things. So just save a couple that you like to your computer. After you're done with that, copy a few to a Word document and resize them. I like to put a few on each page so I don't waste too much sticker paper. Once they're printed, the next step is obviously to cut them out. So just make sure to take your time with this and cut along the outside so there's no more white showing. Now on to the fun part. You can decide where you want your stickers on your laptop. I didn't unstick them yet because I want to make sure I knew where everything was going. And just make sure you place your stickers the way that you want them to go when you open your laptop. So when I open mine, my stickers are upside down, but when I close it, they're right side up. So you can make that choice. Whatever you wanna do is fine. That is all you have to do for your own custom Tumblr laptop. These stickers are great for your laptops, phone cases, really anything that you wanna stick them on. So so let's get on to the next one. Start this one by coating your case with a little bit of Mod Podge and then you want to concentrate the glitter towards the bottom of the case because we're kind of doing sort of an ombre or like glitter ombre case. So you want to concentrate a lot of the glitter towards the bottom and then get lighter as you go up. Continue adding layers of the glitter and Mod Podge until you get a look that you like. Then wait for it to dry. and. Fun fact, this is actually the case I have on my phone right now, so if you decide to make it, tweet it to me. Let's go. I tried to cover my shine. The last phone case has these adorable watermelon on it, so what you're going to want to do is print out a bunch of little watermelons from Tumblr the same way you got the stickers. Then I just cut them out and I laid my phone case over the top of my iPhone just so I could see where the watermelons were going to go because I kind of wanted to show the apple on the back just like most clear cases do. So once I have them situated, I turned the phone case over and applied some Mod Podge with a sponge brush and just placed on each watermelon individually. Once everything was in place, I added a final layer of Mod Podge to seal everything in so I could place it onto my phone. I think this case looks really cool and it's super cute for spring and summer coming up. Let me know you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. They didn't want me when I was running wild.